All right, so this is a fiberglass 64 fender that I had that was scrap. And uh, it's pretty cool, fiberglass, so there's no rust. Um, what we're gonna be doing here is experimenting with some candy paint. Um, so right now this is in the Tamco Primer wet sanded uh, guide coat and 600 grit after uh, some blocking on it. So we got our products here. This is some um, Titan Silver, I think it's a GM color, that we got mixed up. It's, it's 16 ounces mixed, it's ready to go. I got that on clearance at the local jobber. And then we got this Uricam Candy. It's red, mixes three parts, and then we're gonna be spraying this SPI production clear. So what we're gonna be doing first is we're gonna be sealing it with epoxy that we mixed up, three ounces of epoxy, three ounces of uh, activator, and then two ounces of um, reducer. So we're gonna seal it. Boy Wonder here is gonna be the one spraying it. So it's a little experiment, so what we're gonna be doing is sealing it, waiting about half an hour, we're gonna come back, we're gonna spray hopefully two to three coats of the silver, then the candy red on top, and then two or three coats of clear. So we'll bring y'all back as the process continues. All right, so here we are, we sprayed one, one coat of the reduced epoxy sealer, and uh, stuff is really good. Now we have a clean foundation here. So we're getting ready to spray this, this silver that I bought, like I say, from the discount shelf. It's tight, called Titan Silver. We got 16 ounces, so we should be able to stretch, hopefully three coats. We're gonna be using the Purple Cap Iwata uh, LPH 400, we're going to spray it at about 14 PSI. So we'll bring y'all back once we get, oh, all right. once we get this thing in three coats of silver. So this is our first coat of the silver and it, it really covered good. Um, I think we're going to get away with just three coats and call it done. So we're over here mixing it up, we've got plenty of paint. So let's go ahead and throw one more coat on there. We're spraying it at 14 psi is what the air cap says and it's, it's doing a pretty good job so bring y'all back once once we get it uh three coats so we got three coats of the titan silver on here uh last coat we sprayed a little higher psi and uh came out pretty good so we're not going to do any graphics or anything we're just going to go straight straight candy red Sure is a pretty color. So this stuff mixes four to one to one. We got about half a quart. We had uh, used it on another little project. So I'm thinking we're probably gonna use the rest of the material here. Four to one to one. We'll bring y'all back in one coat. All right, so this is our first coat. Um, it's laying out pretty good. I say it's the first coat. Uh, I think the second and the third coat will, will seal the deal. So, we got plenty of paint, huh? So we mixed up 16 ounces, so I'm thinking that probably took about six ounces. So we'll see, what, we'll see where we go. We'll bring y'all back after the final coat before, before clear. All right, so here we are, it's three coats of candy. Uh, leveled out pretty good. About to spray the clear. Got a little bit of trash. Um, that's just because of the environment, but I think the clear will, will pile it on and then cut it down. Not too worried about, about this whole area right here. In fact, I, probably, I might just cut that whole thing off. It's just going to be a wall decoration for the shop. So, going to start mixing up this production clear. Um, not really trying to spend a whole lot of money on high-end clear for this project. Um, it's kind of a experiment. Um, so we'll bring y'all back once this thing gets two coats of clear. All right, so here we go. So this is three coats of the uh, the production SPI clear. 
Uh, we did two originally, and it was a little bit a little bit of texture more than we like, so I went ahead and put a third coat um, because we're going to wet sand this down here in a few days. But overall, um, on the clear, we sprayed it with the orange cap. Same gun, we just changed the cap. There's a little bit of trash up top, but. So what you think? So you wanna, this guy did it. You gotta take credit for your work. So you wanna explain to these people that are watching the process that you did from start to finish? Um, well, we, are, we had already painted it before and it was done. I painted it the first time. Yeah, and we did it. And it blew, we had it outside and the wind blew it off the stand and it chipped it pretty bad so we had enough material to go ahead and redo it, so he went ahead and redid it, so, so go ahead. So we did 80 grit with an electric sander to get all the heavy material off, and then we did a slick sand. Yep. And then blocked it with 80, did the fill work, 2K primer, blocked 180, and then another round of 2K primer. Yep. And then block 400, guide coat. Yep. And then guide coat 600 wet. Yep. And then epoxy sealer. Yep. Three coats of silver base. Yep. Three coats of candy. And then three coats of clear. That's it. That's pretty awesome, man. You did a good job. First, first time spraying, really? That was, uh, well, no, you sprayed some of the gray stuff, huh? But definitely first time candy. I mean, last time I did it, it was candy. I'm gonna show some pictures. We did some graphics and stuff, but this time we just opted for a straight candy. It's definitely something to be proud of, man. It's your first, first time spraying clear. We sprayed clear yesterday. It wasn't first, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. We, he sprayed the radiator support, so. Can't take credit for it because you did all the work, man. That's good. Looks good. So hope you guys enjoy the video here and uh, stay tuned for more work.